Question 27 is a Pythagoras question. And I know that because we have a right angle triangle. So really, with triangles, they normally ask you to find area, perimeter, or if it's near the end of the paper, it's more likely going to be Pythagoras. And we've got a right angle triangle that definitely means it's Pythagoras. We've got two lengths, and we're asked to find the length of XZ, so that's the distance between X and Z. I'm going to call this X for now. And they've got this added difficulty, three significant figures. So that's why it's worth three marks, because the extra mark is for this accuracy. So Pythagoras' theorem, most of you will probably know that it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Where c is the longer side, so it's going to be this one, the hypotenuse, opposite the right angle. a we normally use as the smaller side, this one here, and b is the middle one. So if we're trying to find the longest, so I'm going to label this A, B, and C. If we're trying to find the longest, the formula is already ready, so this isn't a problem. So to find this, I know that this side squared, I'm just going to write that down. So X squared is going to be equal to A squared, 1.35 squared, plus 3.25 squared. And there we have it. So all we can do now is tidy this bit up. With your calculator, you need to type in this squared. And I must apologise, I've forgotten to bring my calculator and I can't do that in my head. So I'll just explain what you would do. So you're going to add these two together, type it in just as you see it, and you'll get an answer here. This answer is this squared. To find out what the length is, and you'll see your answer will be a hell of a lot bigger than 3 and 1. So I'm expecting this to be a little bit bigger here, maybe around 5 or 6. But your answer here might be something like 25 or 30 or 40 even, somewhere much bigger than you're expecting. Because the opposite of squaring is to square root an answer. So if you square root your answer, you'll get a length that looks a lot more simple. And then you have to round it to three significant figures. So if you're unsure on that, you need to possibly ask your teacher. I'm going to show you a quick example. So if it was something like this, for example, and goes on and on and on, this is the first significant figure because it's between one and nine. This is the second, and this is the third. So this isn't the answer, but... This is the third significant figure. So if I'm rounding to three sig figs, I look at the next one, which is six. It tells me to round this up to a five. So that would be my answer. But please remember that isn't the answer because I haven't got my calculator. But that is what you would do.